Okay, so we have a puppy here that's biting. So when he plays, he thinks it's okay to bite. which is pretty typical for puppies to do. So because he's biting, we're gonna do our mouth training again. Um, I have a video, if you haven't seen that one, check that one out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick him up off the ground so he doesn't have as much control. And we're actually gonna do some mouth training. So I'm gonna put my hand in here, I'm not hurting him, but I'm gonna teach him that my skin in his mouth is not a comfortable thing. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put my hand in there. And you either want them to, he's trying to get away like this, or sometimes they freeze. So then I'll put him down, and he bites again. So then I'll go, and I'll mouth train again. And I'm just holding his jaw. I'm not hurting him. He's not yelping. But I just have control of his jaw, so he can't bite down on me. And then I'll let him go again, and I'll play with him. And then see, he, he doesn't want to bite anymore. So anytime he bites anything that you want, him not to bite, so if he starts biting your shirt, if he starts biting hands, the ankles, anything, you'll just go up to him and then you'll start mouth training. And he'll realize that anything that his mouth touches that is like human skin, mm -hmm. he's not gonna want it. And he's not, it's not injuring him or anything. So see, now he's just licking me, he's not biting me anymore. He's just wanting to be gentle. As soon as I feel teeth again, or if he nibbles something, like how charm bracelets. So he's being really gentle now, and then teeth. Again, this mouth training. And again, I'm not hurting him. I'm just kind of controlling his jaw so he can't bite down. Mm -hmm. And just kind of sticking my fingers in there. And then we'll see again. And usually within 24 hours, 90% of biting is stopped with this. See, so now he's just licking. Oh, now he has my bracelets. So same thing. Yeah. <laughs> my daughter made me that, sir. So same thing. We'll just... And this is just what I call mouth training. So it's just. Don't do it. It's okay, so nice, just licking me. And then there. <laughs> Are y'all watching? Yes. Good boy. Yeah, that's a good gentle boy. Hi. 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 Good job. See, now he's just kind of licking me. Okay. And he's excited, but he's, I can feel where he's like wanting to, but then he stops himself mm -hmm. immediately. So because he's stopping himself, I'm not going to do more mouth training because he's restraining himself now. So I guess when you do the mouth training, it's, it's, uh, you're saying that you should grab both up and lower jaw? Yeah, you can, or you can just go from beneath and just kind of. Because that's the jaw that's kind of going up and down. Yeah, I mean, okay. really, you're just gonna have, people are usually scared that they're gonna bite down. And with an older dog, yeah, I would be concerned with that. But with a puppy, I mean, you are you have way more control. I mean, I can sit there all day. Mm -hmm. You're obviously gonna feel the teeth, so it is a bit scary, but the whole exercise is that we're getting the skin in his mouth. And when skin is in his mouth, it means he's not in control, so they stop wanting that. Mm -hmm. So you can just put your hands in there if you have more control with both ways, because this, you definitely have more ability to keep him from biting down. Mm -hmm. So this way is a lot, a lot of people prefer this way because it's easier for them to control the chomper. Mm -hmm. I typically do it this way because I'm kind of used to it. Mm -hmm. And even if, even if he bites down right there with all his might, I mean, he has a puppy jaw still, so he's not gonna, He's not gonna break any flesh. Mostly his nails is what's getting me. So that's just a quick video on how you work on mouth training, a more visual type of video. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments for me.